two, three, click. All right, we're going to get ready for my next tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make a very quick ring, and we're going to do this very quickly. All right, so let me get set up here. I'm going to go over to, I have a little program over here, download. I just click here, go to my USA scale, and I can automatically click size 10. And in my front view, there is my size 10 inside ring shank. Let's go to my front view. Double click that. <coughs> now, let's make our shank. Finish it up. We're going to go right over here to the arc. Right click it. Open up that window. Go over right here. Arc. Three point arc. So we'll left click it. I'm just giving you, showing you how to do it. So I'm not going to give you any exact dimensions or anything. Right now, let's put our snap on. Just go over here. That'd be two millimeters. Bring it back over here. It'll snap to two millimeters. Turn your ortho and snap off. Okay. Now drag this down to where you like it. Like it there? It's good. There it is. Now go over here to your line. Right click it. Go to this one. Line from center, midpoint. Click it. Turn our snap and ortho back on down here. Let's go up. Let's go up about four or five millimeters. Now well, we got one, two, three, four, five, four or five millimeters is fine. And click it. And we'll drag we'll go out. Take it out four millimeters on each side. We'll do it right there. Click it. There's a line right there. Now go over here to your curve curve uh, menu right click it this one right here left click it I'm sorry right click it now drop this it's gonna drop out right click it right there there's your drop out we're gonna go right here to extend curve click that we've got our, we've got our uh, ortho on end so right click that's your curve to extend and turn off snap and ortho and right there right click to repeat the command right click and we're on the end now let's join these let's join these right here join click it click it they are joined now highlight this go to your curves Lay curves right here. We're going to offset that. Offset. I've already got it set to a distance of one. Do whatever you want. This way it'll be on the outside. This will offset it to the inside. Click it. There's our offset surface. Click your offset surface. Now go over here. Control points on. There's your control points. Window click the bottom three right there. Ortho on. Go up here take it up about halfway that's done control points off there we go now let's extrude everything take our first surface we're going to extrude that let's go to the other view so we can see what we're doing extrude it right here is our extrude both sides yes let's take it out take it out whatever you want but let's take it out about uh, let's take it out 10 five on each side however you like you can turn the snap on if you like or you can punch in the figure five on each side so just click it right there now take your original ring circle right there again let's extrude that so it's past the ring sir past the ring shank right there that red yellow line is your curve so you can delete that if you like get that out of there let's on difference the two right here but we on difference click your ring shank right click click your uh, inside tube right click and in our perspective view you can see your ring now let's click this right there let's extrude that again however you want we're in the top viewpoint report now let's just extrude it there Okay, again, the yellow light's your curve, so you can cut that now. You're done with that. I'm done with it. 
Now, let's Boolean difference over here one more time. Pick your ring. Right click. Pick this inner piece. Right click it. Right click. There you have the inside extruded. Now let's do one thing. I'll show you something. We'll open. I got something hidden here. I'll open it up. Right there. It's a cutter. One of my cutters. I want to highlight the cutter. I want to double click my front viewport so I can see everything. Pull it over. Zoom it in. Snap and ortho's on. Let's bring it down. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit. I'll bring it down a little bit more. And let's just leave it like right there. It's fine. Okay. Now watch this. We're going to buoy on difference. Let's see what happens. Pick your ring shank. Right click it. Pick this. Right click it. And let's go to our perspective viewport and see what we did. First of all, let me cut the grid off. I'll turn the grid off so we can see it. Okay. And let me pull it down. There's your ring. As you can see, I'll pull the stone away. The hole is in it, the prongs are there. Very fast, very easy. Thank you for watching.